All right. Hello, everyone. And peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link with whatever you want. And don't forget, uh, after some time uh, we finish, uh, the, this video will disappear. And then we will have a replacement for the link where you can download and you will be updated. Just uh, save the title, which you can search for it later. So uh, before we start, please use a good language. Don't use an insult to anyone. This is nothing here, nothing personal. Here we are speaking about religion, about, not about uh, uh, people. So please maintain your tongue. And we are not here to attack the Muslims. We are here to talk about Islam specifically. Muslims are like many. They are uh, you know, people who, most of them, they are born of this uh, belief. And uh, they have no choice but to believe in it because this is how they are born. So if you yourself born of a Muslim family, you will be following this uh, religion, if we can call it religion. So uh, today I choose a topic. You know, usually I don't really uh, choose a topic. I just go to uh, either somebody ask me a question or I go like search engine and I type the word Islam or whatever, you know, and then things will come in my face. So today this is what I come in my face. The wisdom of a prophet Suleiman uh, Dua Nu'man Khan, Singapore 2015. All right. So this is a guy, his name is Nu'man Khan, and uh, the Muslims, they think he is a big shot, but the fact this guy is, um, you know, I don't know, he might be convincing for the for the one who is not educated. Uh, he might be convincing for someone is, uh, you know, in, in, in many stages we are like, there's people who they are, we can call them dummy. They have no idea what this guy is talking about. So he just put words together and he make you believe that this is amazing. So here, uh, Mr. Rahman Khan, he chose a topic. And as you see here, it says here, in his inter uh, representation, brother, the unique da'wah of Prophet Suleiman in Surah Saad, Nu'man Khali Khan uh, open you uh, vistas into the understanding of the value of engagement in this world. At first glance, glance, uh, Suleiman du'a, uh, du'a, which means like asking Allah for something, <coughs> for a kingdom that is benefiting anyone after him, seem uh, materialistic. But in fact, it is asking for uh, capability to do more good for the sake of Allah. So this is what the topic is about. Suleiman is asking Allah to ask, to give him a kingdom. And they are saying here that this is very clear uh, uh, evidence <coughs> of the wisdom of a prophet Suleiman. But you know, here I wonder what is the where is the wisdom of uh, of uh, of Allah? Because you see, me myself, I can if I can get a kingdom, I will be happy to have one. So this is the wisdom of the man. I mean, this is not really uh, a big deal. I mean, everybody he wished to have a kingdom. Who of you don't like to be a king? Who of you don't like to have a a, a, a nice life? I mean, come on. What wisdom? What, what? So Suleiman he prayed to Allah, asking him for a kingdom. Allah he gave him a kingdom. But what about the kingdom itself? Let us examine this kingdom and see the wisdom of Suleiman and the wisdom of Allah. We cannot question Suleiman because let us say, for the sake of argument, uh, there's a guy. His name is uh, 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 Dudu, and Dudu he asked his God, Mister Dada. He said to him, I want a kingdom. And then Mr. Dada, the god of Dudu, he gave Dada, or so he gave Dudu, a kingdom. But this kingdom is the most silly, funny, stupid cartoon ever. How that can be? If this kingdom turned to be a Disneyland, nothing but fiction stories, Lord of the Ring, This is what the kingdom we are talking about. It is the kingdom of the Lord of the Ring, where Allah He gave uh, Suleiman a ring, and by this ring He can control the world. 
So they make big speeches about the wisdom of Sulaiman, but what about the wisdom of Allah? And they speak, and there's tons of articles speaking about the wisdom of Allah. So let us examine today. This is why I decided today to speak about what is called wisdom. What wisdom mean? What what will consider or make someone a wise person? To tell us a story that there is a guy, he have a flying carpet, can carry 600,000 chairs. To tell us a story that there's a guy, he have a ring, and he have the, this ring, he controlled the whole world with it. Not only he controlled a human, he controlled the genie, he controlled shaitan, which is not, the genie does not exist. And even the genie, they die for him. So, Today we are going to talk about this topic and I'm going to open Skype if there is any Muslim would like to call us to examine the wisdom of Allah regarding Sulaiman. Actually this topic alone is enough to make anyone leave the cult of Islam. It's more than enough actually. <clears throat> there is no way anyone he have you know little you know ability of thinking he will accept this to be from God it's impossible do we have any Muslim in the chat he would like to call us and uh, show us the wisdom behind behind the story of uh, uh, Allah and Suleiman anyone <clears throat> who is a Muslim would like to call us and show us the wisdom behind the story of Sulaiman and Allah. What is the wisdom behind it? Anyone? Any Muslim he believe that the Quran is a legitimate book and teach wisdom? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Look, if you don't call, that will make people think that you are not proud about the Quran. And even Nu'man Khan himself, he will be upset from you. Look, brother Nu'man, you know, if we if we look here at the at the titles and the corners here in YouTube. You will find the most hilarious lectures made by Muslims. Signs of Allah in his creations. Allah, he have signed in his creation. Okay, we will show you the creation of Allah in a few minutes. The devil pull back, pull us back. Well, the prophet says that the devil, he take hair from the anus of a Muslim when he pray. And we showed you the hadith yesterday. This is the wisdom of Allah. Hello? Hello. 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 Yes, Mr. Raja, how are you? Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Oh, hi, Christian Prince. How are you? I'm fine. You are a Muslim, right? Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Are you a Muslim? Uh, not exactly. I'm not a Muslim, but uh, I just called to you know. No, no. Uh, just to clarify a few, uh, you know, uh, doubts. Uh, if you can just help me. Okay, so because, you are a Muslim you know, or not? Like, you know, uh, discussing with so you, uh, uh, no, 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 no. I have Muslim. You are not a Muslim. Hello. You are not a Muslim. No, I am not. I am. I am a Christian. Okay. Uh, no, no, I am not a Muslim. Okay. So what do you? How but, I can help uh, you? Right but now? if you can just help me out, I that yeah. Yeah, basically, I need a, like a small clarification in one of your video. Mm -hmm. You just told that, like, you know, um, there are some um, 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 uh, mosques like uh, in Muslim countries uh, where uh, they pray in the name of Jesus. Is something you told in one of your uh, video. Some Muslims one of your chat, in like, no? video what? So I was just trying. Sorry? What they do, what they do. Sorry, again. Hello? 
ஒருத்தாய் <laughs> like you know ask like you know in one of the video you told that uh, is, is that in muslim country uh, there are uh, mosque where uh, people go and pray in the name of jesus for healing am they i go, right no they go to churches they go to churches they go to christian churches and ask okay, okay. for healing because they cannot get the healing for praying to allah oh. and not only that they make a big donation in those christian churches muslims Okay okay because I want to, because uh, basically I was thought right, it is friend, some Raja, you, are, you are wasting my time sorry I have to hang up on you Yeah this is not our topic but anyway please if you are not a muslim don't call me we want only muslims to call So when we speak about you see you just disturb our topic I mean let us be mature let us be mature if we I say okay we are done anyone have a question and you call me and if I say Christians can call So uh, uh all those videos trying to make us believe that Muhammad is a prophet and he have wisdom and Allah has wisdom and Allah is amazing We have for I challenge this guy Nu'man Khan to have a debate with me he never answer because he knew he cannot do it the same as the rest of them zakir naik etc 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 so is it something we just because we repeat then it is true or it is something we can prove because talk is a cheap discover your identity islam did not leave identity to anyone islam forced arab or arabic culture in everybody Islam destroy every identity. Islam humiliate identity. Even Muhammad he says the one who is proud about his heritage before Islam tell him go to to go and buy the private part of his father and we show you the hadith. So now we don't want to waste our time as long there is a Muslim is calling and as long the the Muslim themselves they choose the wisdom of a prophet Suleiman dua to Allah. So let us say that uh, Suleiman was a wise man and he asked Allah something to give him a kingdom as you see here in the presentation of this video. I cannot play the video. I wish I can play it but you know they will they will claim copyright over it. This is what always they do. They use it as an excuse. So uh let us go and see what happened between Suleiman and Allah. And please don't sit in the chair because you might fall down from your chair from laughing this is an islamic website explaining to us some of what happened between allah and suleiman the website called alislam.org so this is not a christian website this is not a hindu website this is not a jewish website you know you know the story if we read in this uh, in this website we will find the most amazing hilarious comedy style story it doesn't only fit in disneyland or alice in the it, it's going to beat all the movies or fictions here they are quoting for us chapter 38 verse number 34 to 39 and in this chapter they are talking about allah He gave Suleiman a flying carpet. To Suleiman, the wind blowing violent, pursuing its course by his command to the land which we had blessed and we are all knower of all things. I mean, you know, when I was a kid, this is was just like 10 years ago. uh my dad he used to take the whole family like him, my dad and his 
and uh, and uh, my mom and his uh, 300 kids and we used like there is no airplane can take us and actually my dad he don't like airplane he liked to have no windows like so he like he's a uh, he like the nature so what he do one day brother he grabbed something from behind the uh, the closet and it was a carpet and he told all the family and we put the food and the banana in the top of the carpet and then brother my father he ordered the flying carpet to fly and we fly we went all the way all the way from Cairo to Mecca from Mecca to uh, Bombay and the reason we stopped in Mecca because my dad was thirsty and he wanted to drink from Zamzam. Now, how many of you believe in this story? How many of you are laughing? Okay, how come when I say this story, uh, people are laughing, but when Muhammad, he say it, nobody laugh? Because nobody there. And this, is what, this is what this story is about. This is what this story is about. Flying carpet. Hmm? This is my dad when he was young. You see? True story. I mean, I don't know why you are not convinced. I see some text there is not nice. This is true story, brother. What's wrong with you? So the wisdom of Allah, what is the wisdom of Allah to give Sulaiman a flying carpet? And I want a Muslim to tell me. And what happened to this carpet? Hmm? What happened to this carpet? This is the wisdom of Allah. Let us see some uh of the comment down because here the story we we want to start only with the flying carpet and then we go slowly through things sheikh at tabarasi has narrated that shaitans had made suleiman one uh parasang long platform if, 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 if. this is bigger than my father flying carpet it's made of gold and silk. <laughs> now we know if you want, somebody call the Boeing uh, 777 uh, company, tell them Boeing. Actually, actually, if you call the company, it's called Boeing. They don't have like ring, like normal, like ring. No, it's a Boeing, Boeing, Boeing. Like if you are feeling down from the top of a mountain and you are big and beautiful. So if we call Boeing and now we should tell them how you make a flying carpet or what you need is silk and gold. We discover the material and also made a pul pulpit. What pulpit? I'm not sure what. What, what pulpit mean? I guess somebody help me with the English. You know, my English is funny. I'm illiterate like the Prophet Muhammad. Let me search in Google. Google is my... Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Pulpit. Okay. See, because Suleiman, he will sit there. Like, come on. Hello. I mean, phew. hello. Look at this. I was wondering what is that. Now we got it. And they made the pulpit in the middle of the platform. If, 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 if. Yeah, because this is like you how you direct like Suleiman, he sit behind it and like okay go there go right go left go up go down all right let us say this is the pilot cabinet or cabin in the middle of the platform full of gold which he used to sit and around him like what he sit in the gold that will make me so cold I don't want to sit in the cold. Hey, Suleiman, do you want a cushion? Trust me, Suleiman. How about I ex like exchange with you uh, some cushion made from foam, made in America? Huh? Will make your ass very comfortable, and you give me the gold. He will give it. Trust me. I mean, who want to sit in the gold? And then there were here three thousand chairs of gold and silver. If 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 if. 
3,000 shares of gold and silvers in the top of the, uh, of the flying carpet. Ibrahim and Tatar, Prophet Uleiman, he used to have 3,000 tier, and all of them they are made of gold and silver. And if you ask me, why they are made of gold and silver? First of all, they carry this all kind of element. So they will not be rusted. They will not what? They will not get rusted. And by the way, in different tests here, it says 600,000 shares. This one saying 3,000 3, shares. No, I don't know how the number shrink in Islamic books. I mean, do you see the difference? One, it says 600,000 shares. The other one says 3,000 shares. But 3,000 shares is so big. Okay, but not only this. Uh, in those days, okay, the prophets used to sit on the golden chair. And ulama, ulama mean like the scholars. On the silver chairs, look at this. But you just said three thousand of golden and silver chairs, and now we found that the golden chair is only one. Do you see what he just? The guy who is reporting the story. He just said three thousand of golden and silver chair, and then we find that only one gold chair. The rest are silver. Let it go, man. Okay. And then, uh, around them, all humans, shaitans, and jinns stood, bird shade with them with their wings. What? All human in the top of the flying carpet? So look what happened here, brother. The scholars, they can sit in the chairs. The other human uh, sit in your ass or stand. In the top of that, brother, all the birds flying in the top of a flying carpet to keep them in the shade. Makes sense. I mean, we need a roof. We need a roof. Imagine you are taking an airplane, which is an open roof. Like, hello. Like, come on. Open roof airplane. Are you serious? <sighs> the wisdom of Allah. I'm really convinced. The wisdom of Allah. That is the wisdom of Allah. Okay. So the plane have no roof. And the birds are flying in the top of it. And this plane is so big. It goes to hundreds of kilometers. Very huge. Actually, all his king, all his kingdom flying with him. His animals, his... Uh, okay. The breeze uh, uh, carried according to the capacity of the sky for one month from morning to evening. If, if, if. Look how fast this falling carpet. In one morning, one morning until sunset, hmm, this flying carpet can go to a distance of one month. I need some coffee. I'm losing my mind. First, I am jealous. I was searching for a flying for, for an airline ticket. And I'm desperately looking for something cheaper, $50 cheaper, $100 cheaper. And look what happened. Now, I find that there's a very free way to go and fly. And it's very fast and very secure. But come on, this is run by Allah. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim have any comment about the wisdom of Allah? What is behind this wisdom? Let us stop here. What is behind this wisdom that Allah, he gave Sulaiman a flying carpet? Anyone? Yeah, why nobody give me why nobody is giving me a like? Okay, I will show you how I can get a like. Today we are going to change the topic and we are going to talk about lipstick. Hmm? And how to make a makeup. If you make a videos like this, you will find five millions. And the other day, like you know, uh, YouTube uh, suggest for you videos. 
and sometime by the search like you remember I search for uh, Muslim women dancing I showed you and then more search they start coming so there is a there is two girls they dance uh, they have five million subscribers and they do nothing except wearing panty and with short skirt five million subscriber poor Christian Prince look what you have here unbelievable me mm. That is the wisdom of Allah. Oh, what you need a panty, two girls, they shake it in the front of the camera, and five million people subscribe. What a flying carpet. I mean, change the story. Nobody is going to listen. They want the flying girls, they want the flying skirt, they want the flying legs, not the flying carpet. What are you talking about? Okay, we go back to the topic. Be honest, how many of you hate me? Come on. Even my mom, I went back home uh, after many years away, and she opened the door, she said, that's you? Like, I mean, nobody missed me. Unbelievable. Like, that's you? Okay. I thought it's the garbage guy. True story, by the way. This is a Sahih Bukhari story. Anyway, so we go back to the story. Why Allah He gave Suleiman a flying carpet? Any Muslim can tell us? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim voluntarily? We have to say voluntarily. He can take his flying carpet and call us in Skype. Anyone? Hmm. Yeah, the story I told you about my dad and the, his three hundred kids taking the flying carpet. This is proving Sayyid Bukhari, brother. Who is a Muslim willing to call us? <clears throat> Anyone? What is behind Allah giving Suleiman a flying carpet? Can carry all those thousands of people. His camels, his uh, his kingdom, what is that? Now, let us show you how big this flying carpet, shall we? Guys, who wanna see how big the flying carpet? You wanna see the, how big the flying carpet? Why we have only 778? Uh, because I did not give a... Uh, uh, not in advance I just schedule an hour before it's my fault it's my fault I should schedule it since yesterday but yesterday I was fixing the carburetor of my flying carpet now let us see how big this is flying carpet this flying carpet by the way was very small and this is why for me if you ask me I'm not really interested because <laughs> this is not enough only not enough even for my goats look how how big this flying carpet Suleiman army was 100 Parsakh, this is Farsakh supposedly, 3,500 mile long. How many? How long? How long? Hold, 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 I'm really disappointed. Only 3,500 mile long. And my dad flying carpet was more than 4,000 mile long. That's it. I thought you would give us something better, something nicer. I mean, what is this? Only his, this is the army. This is not the uh, the camels, the animals. This is not the size of the flying carpet. This is a, this is a smaller than the size of because this is the army who is a st st he stood like in the top of the flying carpet. Now, who of you here is not really uh, convinced that this is a true story? Who of you is not convinced? Anyone? 
You are not convinced? Okay, let me call my cousin in the Middle East. They will convince you. Brother Muhammad, I have somebody here. He is not agreeing with the story of the Quran. Let me give you his name and his address so you can go and convince him. Yes, brother. Exactly. Thank you very much. Don't forget to take a selfie. Are you convinced now or not? I mean, what's wrong with people? I mean, what's what what is in the story is not convincing. You tell me. This is very true story. The, the wisdom of Allah. Allah wisdom to give Suleiman a flying carpet can carry all of. And look, this guy is counting for us numbers. Hold on. 3,500 mile long army. And then they, they, give, us, they give us division. 25% of them, they are a human. Or let's say that this is the number. The, uh, it's called Farsakh. Uh, uh, no, actually. What, what the name in Arabic? I forgot here what he used. Anyway. 25. Another 25 are genie. Another 25 are desert animals, which mean camels. Eesh. Mean what a heavy load, and then 1,000 houses of a glass made above the wood. Like, what all of this is above the flying carpet? <laughs> Any Muslim want to say anything to us? Anyone? <clears throat> Anyone want to say anything? Who want to say something? No comment? The second you ask the Muslims, uh, a Muslim asking me about, uh, in the text, asking about the songs. My friend, First of all, this is a song, this is a poetry. And uh, isn't it your prophet name found there too? I mean, come on. So what is the wisdom there? This person, he is praising and he is making a poetry. And he is making a prophecy in the same time. So what is the wisdom there? Isn't it obvious in the front of you? Hmm? They prophesy that this uh, uh, Babylon is going to be destroyed. And this is what happened. Where is the Babylon? It's gone. At that time, the Babylon was the most successful uh, uh, kingdom, powerful kingdom. Now, we go back to the topic. The Muslim trying to take us off. Big failure. Big failure. You could not really come with something. So what is this? A thousand house of glass were made above the wood. Thousand house, where is the rest will go? Okay, think about it. We have an army and the army length is a 3,500 mile. Divide it into three category human and genie and actually here the one who made the interpretation is very weird because he said desert animals Because the Quran says that Allah he gave him an army of birds And now we have 1,000 house only what about the rest where they will sleep only 1,000 house made of a glass in the top of the wood Who is a Muslim when I tell me what is the wisdom behind those stories? Who really of you Muslims believe in those stories? And then in the 300 houses, look, ah, now we know who is in the houses. 300 wives and 700 slaves girls lived there. Oof, 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 oof. 
For sure, Suleiman, he would not go without those girls. He built 1,000 houses made of glass. Does that mean when he is doing boom, boom, everybody is watching? Like, what? What? Brother, so the wives of Suleiman, when they are, God can do anything. Oh, hold it. We, we have a Muslim comment here. Hold on. We have a Muslim comment. God can do anything that benefit his nature. God can create the universe. Yeah, you see, I'm not saying that God cannot do anything. And by the way, this is a hypocrisy of you. Can God be three and one? You say no. So when they want the Muslims about God, God can do anything when they want. When they want, God cannot be a human. Can God come as a human? No. But you just said God can do anything. And now I'm asking you, why God is doing such a thing? What is, how in the world you want to convince me that such a story is true? Who is the witnesses for those stories? Hmm? Who is the witness for those stories? Where do you get those numbers? Where do you get this flying carpet from? Do you have an answer, Mr. Uh, Taha, Khuzaima? Kan yamakan fi qadim al-zaman, rajul yusma adnan, wa qad kan lahu asnan. Wa fi yom min al ayam wajad hasira taira. وعليها ما طاب ولز من القلمان. Here we go. Hey, I made Quran for you. Put it in the Quran. Tell me the wisdom. Tell me what God can do. Everything. The hypocrisy of the of, of this religion is amazing. No God, according to Islam, He cannot do everything. The Quran says, "How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend?" So Allah, He cannot have a son unless He have a girlfriend. What do you mean, a God? He can do everything. Not your God. حصيرة تسمى محمدان هذا ليس ما في الفنجان لقد قرأت ما كان ليس في الحسبان يا أم حسان روزا مسلمون tell us what is that the first Muslim he gave us a failure in his answer Islam our friend here saying in Arabic Islam made us like a uh, like children's believe in cartoon uh, uh, stories my friend show respect this is not cartoon this is real hello I believe in every word there actually it happened to me every night when I go to sleep it's true it's true all what I need to do, I uh, uh, turn the light off, close my eyes, and sleep. And then all those things happen every night, brother. Hmm? I wish you guys would speak Arabic. Otherwise, if we speak Arabic, we will die more laughing, literally. So who is the one when they give us an answer? Human does not benefit. Hold on. The Arabian prophet, God becoming a human does not benefit his nature. God cannot become imperfect. Mm. That's, that's, that's a good answer. First of all, my friend, let me show you how, how silly what you said. With my respect to you. God becoming a human does not benefit his nature. Who is you to tell us about the nature of God? Secondly, the nature of God you are saying is going to be changed as holiness. Are you saying that God can get dirty? Are you saying that God can be affected and if he changed just his uh, shape or his look? That's mean God is not God. 
because it's God, he has to be inside a certain uh, place or certain uh, uh, look so he can be God. The second we take that from him, he is not God no more. So according to you, replacing God or moving God from heaven to earth and he take another form that will not make him God no more. This is what you are saying. But look, I have a bad news for you. If I go and take what you just said to me, that's mean you're a prophet is a liar because you're a prophet, he said. The following. Allah, he will change his shape. And he will come to the Muslim in the shape other than the one which they saw or they know first time. According to you, the second Allah, he changed his shape, he is not God. And actually, this is what happened. You Muslims, when Allah, he come to you, changing his shape, you Muslim, you, they say to him, we seek refuge by Allah from you. But Allah is the one who is coming to them. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know and will say I am your Lord But you just said to us it doesn't benefit the nature of God. So why Allah doing that? Do you see guys the fallacy of the answer? Because those people do not know what is written in their books Allah he changed his nature and he changed his shape and by changing his shape you Muslim you throw rocks at him are you there, Mr. Uh, Taha? Is that hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari fabricated by the Christians? Hmm? And what the Muslim, they will say to Allah after he changed his shape, they will throw rocks at him. You say, seek refuge by Allah from you, they would call him shaitan. The Muslims, they will consider Allah an official Satan. Look what they will say. They will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you. And this is exactly what you Muslim do. What is the name of the hadith? And here we go. What is the name of the hadith? I never heard of that before. This is, this is a very traditional answer, my friend. You Muslims always, when you talk to me, you say to me, I never heard, even sheikhs, sheikhs who have a long beard, they say we never heard this before. Here we go. This is Sahih al Bukhari. And by the way, this is all over, not only in Sahih al Bukhari. This is very authentic. Hadith number 6573. And if you are, in case you are slow, let me repeat it for you in a slow motion. Sahih al Bukhari 6573. And if you are an Arab, you read from right to left. The number will be three, seven, five, six. Are we good? Don't tell me you did not get it yet. Hmm? So when they want, God cannot be. When they want, God can be. It is religion of fictions and false stories. And why Allah will change? What this is? What the point of this is hide and seek? Allah, he changed his shape and come to the Muslims and say who I am. The Muslim will say, we'll take refuge by Allah from you. You are the devil. So what the what is the benefit as you said? What What is benefiting Allah from a change in his shape? Can you tell me? You see, I'm using your logic. What is benefiting Allah to change his shape? Hmm? And then after they reject him for coming in a shape which they don't like, Allah will come back in the shape which they like. Look at this. And then this is our place where we will not follow you. And then Allah will come to us and recognize him. How you recognize him? By his shin. By what? By his shin, brother. This is the only God can be recognized by his shin. Hmm? 
We go back to the topic. Suleiman used to order the strong wind to lift the house and order the soft wind to move the house. What the heck is that? Look, look, look. This engine is complicated. It's not what we thought. Soft wind is the command, like, okay. Uh, okay, Google. Google, open the soft wind. Okay, Google. Now the strong wind. Okay, Google. So Suleiman, he used to order the strong wind to lift the house. But I thought the house in the top of the flying carpet. What is benefiting Allah this miracle which nobody saw and nobody can believe in it for a second? Anyone? Now, therefore Allah revealed to him when he was between the heaven and the earth. Here we go. Suleiman is a flying now. This is a perfect place to reveal to him. I have increased your kingship in such a way that if anybody seek in any part of your kingdom, the wind will make his conversation reach toward you. Oh boy. Who needs CIA? Who needs KGB? Anyone speak against Suleiman? The wind will carry the voice of that person to Suleiman immediately. And now I understand why in America or in English language they say break wind. I was thinking, why break wind? What break wind? What does that mean? Break wind. Now I got it. The wind will break the message to Suleiman and will deliver it. This is the wisdom of Allah. <clears throat> hmm. I mean, here, look at this. They are counting for him the roof, camels. Uh, the chef, the chef of uh, Suleiman, they are busy in cooking. <laughs> All of this in the top of a flying carpet. I mean, it makes sense. Now, they are in the top of flying carpet, and they want to eat. So what we have, we have the kitchen. Don't you see in the airplane, the, you know, like uh, anyone knows what is the best airplane I like? What is the best air, 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 airline I like? Anyone knows? Anyone watch my video in the, my other channel about the best airline? You can subscribe to the other channel, the quality of life. <clears throat> no, Chinese airline. In Chinese airline, I asked the girl to bring me water. She came back with the big beer. I said, okay, well, beer is beer. At least I will not be thirsty. So I drank the beer. And then after, still you need water. I asked her again for uh, water. She came back with the beer. Like, what? <laughs> Don't speak English. Nobody speak English. And I said to her, but this is beer. I want water. She shake her head. I took the beer. I asked for the third time. It had to be three times. But remember, you know, Sahil Bukhari. So again, beer. Like, I mean, you go in China airline, you ask for water, you get beer. That's it. I think she think I am from Germany. In Germany, nobody drink water. They drink beer. Mm. What is this? Kitchen, flying kitchen, the whole army, 3,500 miles. And look here. And the chefs are, were busy cooking and the artisan busy in their craft. Oof, 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 oof. And the horses were tied in the front of him. And the basat was a flying. Who is good in drawing? Who is good in art? You, may, you should make an, uh, you should make a like a, a draw about this story. That would be fantastic. We can use it for uh, explanation. Then, uh, one day 
he traveled from outskirts of Shiraz. Shiraz, isn't it? This is Shiraz in Iran toward Yemen. Ooh, mean that's not far, eh, just a couple of thousand of miles. And Bast al Medina, mean Suleiman said. This is the place of Hijrah. Oh, Suleiman, he's talking about where Muhammad will immigrate. I mean, he saw in the top, from the top, he saw it. And the last prophet, what a good person he is, is he who believed in him Man, and follow him. This is this is the conversation happened when Suleiman was in the top of the flying carpet, prophesying about the prophet Muhammad. This is the old, the first flying prophet prophesying about the flying prophet because remember Muhammad later he fly too. Anyone remember how Muhammad he fly? And actually, uh, <clears throat> this is story about the flying because according to Muhammad, Suleiman he used to have a flying horse. And then one day he got angry and he slaughtered him. And this is in the hadith. Look at this story here. When the message of Allah, S A W S, this is like short wave, you know, like he can receive waves as Suleiman. You see, Suleiman, the wind carry the words of anyone speak about him to him right away. This is short wave. After the expedition of Tabuk and Khaybar, then he says, uh, he entered the, the, uh, the room of. Uh, uh, of Aisha and then he saw something read with me carefully he saw what he saw something what is that thing he saw a horse with wings made of rags and he asked what is this I see among them Aisha the child wife and the Muslim they say no Aisha was mature she is playing with the horse have two wings <laughs> she replied and listen carefully a horse he said he asked and what is that has on it which mean the wings she replied the two wings he asked a horse with two wings she replied have you not heard that Solomon had horse with two with wings and this is how Muhammad later he came with the story of a donkey coming and carrying him with two wings. Do you see it? Do you see it? And he took him to heaven. Muhammad he lived between the Jews, and the Jews they have a lot of fairy tale stories about Suleiman. And Muhammad, because he's a false prophet, he considered whatever story he hear from the Jews as much be true. Anything the Jews they say, Muhammad he take it for granted. And this is was a very clear proof to help us today that Muhammad is a false prophet. All those stories are coming from the Jews. Where Aisha she learned? Aisha she is not a Jew. She learned that from the Jews. Who is Suleiman for Aisha? Nobody. Or Solomon. This is all a Jewish stories. There's a book, it's called The Legion of the Jews. The Legions of the Jews. Full of stories about legions. It's, it's legion, it's not true stories. The Jews believe in some five, you know, fairy tale stories. Uh, not believe, actually. They, I mean, let us say, they carry those stories as heritage to tell them to their kids, their children, and maybe some of them believe in it. Depending on how educated you are. So Muhammad, he took all these stories from the Jews and he put it in his Quran and he made it as the word of God. As you see in the front of you. Which is a clear evidence that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. A prophet will not say such a thing. Any Muslim here, he still believe that Muhammad is a prophet with those stories in the front of us. Anyone? <clears throat> if you read my book, my friend, uh, The Deception of Allah and Quran and Science and Depth, you see a lot of uh, 
a lot of stories proving where they're coming from. I have it already done. Any Muslim? What is this? Uh, one scene, Suleiman uh, start weeping when 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 Suleiman he saw the Kaaba. I think uh, Allah ask uh, ask Kaaba why it is was weeping. He saw the Kaaba was weeping. Hold on, the Kaaba said, "O Creator, one of your prophet and his uh, people passed me." If the Kaaba was a crying. <laughs> hey Kaaba, what's up? <laughs> hey Kaaba, what up? What's up? <laughs> hey, Kaaba, come on. Talk to me. What happened? Did your husband cheat on you? <laughs> I wish. Okay. Did somebody stole your uh, the like the 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 burqa they took put it in the top of you? <laughs> I wish. So what happened? Tell me you made me worry. Do you have diarrhea? And, and I wish. So what happened? Prophet Solomon, he passed at the top of me and he did not stop. <laughs> what is that? The Kaaba is a crying because Solomon, he passed by. I'm really convinced. I'm truly, truly convinced. I'm truly, truly convinced. I'm truly, truly convinced. I'm convinced uh, truly. Is that a trolling uh, story or what? Somebody is trolling here. Neither did stop nor perform the prayer near me. The Kaaba talk in Islam and the Paraist have kept idols around me. Look at the suffering of the Kaaba. And Allah is doing nothing. All those thousands of years, there is idols around the Kaaba, and Allah don't care. Hmm. Allah said, "Don't lament. Very soon, I will fill your land with water." What do you mean, very soon? Do you know how the distance between Solomon and Muhammad that is very soon? Okay, and worshiper. Will reveal Quran in the last era sent to a prophet who is above all other prophet and I will appoint large group make hedge ah, this is because the Kaaba was a crime I mean the story is real long it nar narrated that when Suleiman became the king after his father he ordered for very rare and beautiful throne guys you should see the chair i'm sitting in i should take a picture of it who want to see a picture of that my my chair the second you see it you will say this guy is very cheap unbelievable the the leather is gone it's ripping off parts i sit in it it hurting me and why i am not a king why i cannot order and get a, <clears throat> a throne like this yeah, my chair is like a, I think it's 14 years old chair, you know. And the reason I keep it, by the way, so if a thief he break inside my house, he might leave the donation. I mean, you have to think about it. He get in, he look like what this guy, this guy is, he have nothing. So we let us leave some donation for him, and this is how we can make money, brother, from the thief, brother. He come to rob me. I will get it from him. He will leave the nation. Unbelievable story. True story. Sahil Bukhari. No, no, actually, the part of it about the chair is true. Uh, please answer for God's sake. Please, can you wait for God's sake? Now, it's narrated that when Suleiman became the king, he made, okay, he ordered to make a real throne. Okay. So that he sat on it. Ew, look at the explanation. I was wondering what the throne for. I thought he wanted to do gymnastic. I thought maybe he wanted to go diving with it. But now, by the smart interpretation, he said so he can sit on it. Now I know what the chair for. Mean, I was really confused. Thank you for the explanation, brother. <laughs> and give judgment, brother. 
because he cannot give judgment standing he have to sit to do judgment I mean this is very logical if you do judgment and you are not sitting your judgment will come like wrong I mean is it obvious brother <clears throat> oh boy I have 609 like and three dislike mm. okay we go back to talk about lipstick then the brother and sisters the word lipstick contain two words first word is lip and the second one is a stick have you ever heard in the word that somebody he put a stick in his his lips what's wrong with those women brother don't put a stick there it's haram 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 unbelievable Lips stick is okay. <laughs> yeah, but the lips stick is not okay when you are driving, my friend. You will see a lady in a in a like a, is driving in the highway and she is doing lips stick, and the car is going right and left, right and left. Like what's happening to this woman? Like what she is doing lips stick. The second you see a car driving driven by a female and the car going right and left, that is the lips stick move. <laughs> Just joking. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul here when I say something? Hello? What is the most story, funny story in Islam? Are you kidding me? Don't you see what we are reading? Why are you looking for the most funny when we are the, we have the most dummy here? What are you talking about? Just read, read. Anyway, and the false witness and wrong door doer would get scared from coming near it. Ooh, this chair is scary. Look, this chair, he ordered them. You don't understand what's happening here. He's not only he ordered to make a chair, a throne, he ordered to make a beautiful chair, which if somebody is a false witness and a liar or a bad doer, he will get scared. And this is how Suleiman will know that he is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> we should get that in the police station, brother. Hmm? You see the easy way? Suleiman was not wise. It was the chair. Suleiman was not wise. The chair. He how this is how he knew who is a bad person, who is a good person. If you are a bad person, you would be scared to get close to the chair. So he said, Bring him here, bring him here, bring him here. Hey, please don't let me there, don't let me there. And now so the man he made the decision that this guy is a bad guy. Unbelievable. This is the wisdom of Allah. Why Trump don't do that? What's wrong with this guy, Trump? No one hate me, Charlie. Are you sure? Charlie, I don't believe you, Charlie. Can I make your life a ringtone? Make it ringtone. Make it, uh, I don't know. Just make it anything. Anything have at the end with tone, you can do it. Even fish toner, it's okay. Tone, no problem. You have a license, brother. This, this is the wisdom of Allah. <clears throat> Hmm? Anyone? I'm drinking coffee, by the way, little by little. You know, I told you coffee caused me allergy in my throat. So it make my my voice ugly. And it hurt my throat. But I cannot resist. You know, I can't resist it. This is coffee. I love, I love coffee. There's two things I love, tomato and coffee. Even my mom, she said to me once, if you find a woman one day, her name is tomato, you will marry her. But I did not find her yet. All women, they call themselves like uh, uh, Gina, Juna, whatever. I mean, I never saw a woman, her name is tomato. This is why I'm still single. I hope that will help you to explain. <laughs> 
All right, we go back to the topic of Radar. Where is the Muslims? <clears throat> hmm? What is this? Then, the throne was made of ivory. Ah, so a man, he is responsible for killing animals. Do you see it? Suleiman was not a natural, nature friendly guy. Mm -hmm. His chair was made of what? Ivory. Okay, I will report him to the police. And rubies, emeralds, and different types of jewels. I mean, what a disgusting chair. <clears throat> Yahya Wallani, my friend, what Yahya Walluni Wallani? If he is a brave man, let him call me. I am here live on air, and the one who want to call me, he can call me. Correct, guys? What I can do? I mean, you know, the second the scholars of Islam, they call me, I will hide my face under the throne of Suleiman, and I will be scared. Now, and then four golden, four golden chandelier. Why four? This is the first time I see a story in Islam come with four. It should be five, a three. With the bunches of red rubies. And I mean, those guys are describing the, the chair. It's as if they are there. I mean, do you see? You see how much authentic Islamic books are? They don't even how four chandelier, brother. Look, look. It's not three chandelier. It's not one chandelier. Four chandelier, brother. Look at the details. It's like taking your wife to a party and she will describe everything for you. What happened in the party? They have four chandeliers. They have two couches. They have a nice porcelain dishes. I mean, and the, and the prophet of Allah, he says that women have a bad memory. Yeah, right. She would describe even to you what the color of their nails in the party, one by one. And women, they have bad memory. I bet you, Muhammad, you don't even remember the dish you eat at night before you sleep. God bless, CP. You are smart, funny, one of the kind. Thank you for it. Thank you, John. Thank you. My friend, I'm not smart. Actually, I was a very bad student in school. I always... I don't take uh, my books with me. You believe it? I leave books at school. I don't carry books. I leave in at school. I never study at home. I never do anything at home. I leave school at school. And how I used to do good, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, once we have an exam, my friend, and I did not even buy the book. The exam is about like logic and philosophy, etc. So I get 100 from 100. I remember once my mom, she said to me, give me your book so I can ask you some questions. I said, what book? She said, about the exam tomorrow. What do you have tomorrow? I said, philosophy. She said, okay, give me the book. I said, I don't have it. She said, don't have the book? I said, no, I never bought it. Stupid, silly book. Why am I not going to buy it? I did apply for the exam or did the exam without having a book, and I get 100 from 100. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if there is more than 100, they will give me. Anyway, we go back to the golden chair and forget about the golden philosophy. Do we have any Abdul? Would like to say anything? What does Taghfir Allah mean? Astaghfir, which means ask, I ask for forgiveness. Allah is Allah. So he asked Allah for forgiveness, supposedly. Any Muslim? <clears throat> Nobody? Where is the where is the believers? What happened? Nobody is proud about the wisdom of Allah. Can I ask? Hey, my friend, we did not finish the topic. Why you guys do you want to ask? Don't ask questions now. It's getting cold here. What is the temperature? Mm. 
I think I need to turn on the heater. Hold on. Ooh, this is what happened when you live in a cold area. You know, if if I am Suleiman, all what I need to do, I just say, "Hey, fire!" The fire will be on. <laughs> but I am not Suleiman. <laughs> Ugh. It's really cold. All right. Winter coming already, my friend. What winter coming already? Already we have minus minus two, minus three here. Very cold. <clears throat> All right. So where is the Muslims who want to tell us what's happening? Anyone? Anyone here? Okay, we continue the story. Shall we continue the story? Whenever Suleiman, listen carefully now, now we are getting serious. This is high tech. Whenever Suleiman want to sit on the throne, the first step on the stair made of seed roll out what like what what is that the vulture the I don't know how to read this word what is that base peacock I don't know what this word uh, fluttered their wings oof, oof, oof. and the lion Kept all its four legs on around touching the stomach of like what the way and the way is their tail like what 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 what, what what's happening here he kids sit down kids sit down sit down this is a very interesting story we have now we will put for you a cartoon about Solomon is going up to the stairs what is that the, do you know what is this uh, this uh, here this this thing here? Uh, let me show you in, in Google. What is that? This is like a, a bird something uh, Oh boy, this is the the first stair of Suleiman This is the first stair of Suleiman the first step of the stair Like hello Hello I wonder how I wonder why you told me about the blue blue sky and all what I can see just a bird around me I turn my head up and down turn it turn it turn it turn it turn it around what is that this is how Suleiman he go to his flying carpet I'm really really convinced seriously convinced Okay, we have a we have a Muslim wanna call us, I think. <coughs> Let us see. <coughs> All right. Let us see if this gentleman <clears throat> will call us. So I don't know, like I mean, how how you in the year two thousand nineteen, in the time of internet and computer and fast information flying all over, you believe in this? Please, admin, before you send me any name, ask him if he's a Muslim and he want to talk live. Make it clear that he will speak to us live. All right. This guy is asking me what the video title. Okay. 
Hello? Hello? Are you there? Okay, I will block you. We don't have time for kids. Bye bye. So, I mean, I'm really convinced. I was before worrying about. Uh, look, look. The first step of the stairs made of the seat roll out. Okay, the vulture. The uh, 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 I don't know how to say this word and the name of that bird, whatever it is. You you understand me, brother? <laughs> Flirted their wings. And the lion kept all its four legs on the ground, touching their stomach and waved their tails like, hello, Suleiman, hello, like, hello, hello, you know, take selfie with their tail. So he claimed the steps, the action was performed by those, by these things. Enter Suleiman seated himself. Then the vulture kept the crown on his head what is the vulture hold on you see for me i read the story in arabic but i'm trying to understand what is the, the those words in english here i don't know where ah, this guy oh boy uh -huh. and i was wondering who is this guy oh boy this is the guy who kept the throne in the head of uh, suleiman This is the guy who kept the throne in the top of the head of Solomon? Brother, are you sure? Hello? Voltor? Uh, uh, Andrew is correcting me. Thank you, Andrew. Andrew, I like my English the way it is, brother. Trust me, if I speak good English, nobody will listen. <laughs> Where are you from? Your English is very cute. I am I'm, I'm from Arabia. I had that explained the whole thing. Okay, continue. Hello. What, you want me to correct me now? You want to correct Allah too? Come on. You cannot do that. So now listen to this. So this is the guy who kept the throne in the top of the head of Solomon. Are you really not convinced that this is a true story? Thank you, thank you, and Andrew. I, I know, Andrew, you speak English better than me, for sure, Andrew. And by the way, I speak Urdu better than you. <laughs> Let me speak to you in Urdu. Ibrahim Sattar, did the person his name is the Christian print, and he always make videos against Islam, and absolutely he's a big fat liar, and I can get him busted. Yeah, brother, why you don't debate him? I'm going to debate him, but I'm the only with But okay, can we set up a debate maybe uh, 10 years from now? I think in the first 10 years from now, I'm busy. Okay, about 20 years from now, I'm busy too. Uh, 30 years from now, I'm very busy. Okay, what about after he die? I think I can do that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oof. So now what happened? This is this is how he, he this guy, he kept the crown on in his head. And the throne along with the tear trees and the bird used to circle the bird showered musk and amber on him. If, 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 if. Look at this. Suleiman is going to the throne. And there's a party going. This is each time Suleiman wanna go to the, the, the throne. The, the 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 all those animals we showed you in the pictures, this guy. He opened his wings. So Suleiman, he can step. And then the lions go down with their hands and their stomach touch the floor and their tail will wave to Suleiman. And then a brother. This animal, brother, he will carry the throne of Suleiman and keep it in his head because in his head, you know, it might move. It might fall down like, hello, it's going up. So they keep this, uh, the throne in the top of his head. By the way, he's very handsome, this animal. 
this bird. Very, very handsome. Hmm. And then, the brother, the bird, they circle around Suleiman and they shower him with musk and amber. Which is that? There is many cartoons, by the way, these days about those things. Animals talking, right? There is many cartoons. Muhammad is. Here we go. And Nisrul Asla. And then look at this. What? 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 This, which is was made of gold and jewel, would convey Suleiman and give the Torah. Okay, what is this thing? Google translates him, brother. Me. What is that? Related begons. What? Which? What? Which one? Well, hold on, hold on. The vision, the vision. This is what gives Suleiman the Torah. I was wondering what is a duty. I mean, why he exists. I always wonder why I see them everywhere. Ah, they are giving Torah. And look at this guy, actually. You can tell he is looking at me like, like what? Me? He have no idea what's happening. Like what? I did not. What? Uh, but this guy is angry. I think because I'm talking about. Uh, <clears throat> take it easy, man. I'm just. It's a story. It's. I'm. I'm like, don't look at. Look. Don't look at me like this. It's Allah. He said. It's not me. This guy scared me. And this guy is like, oh boy. All of this in the wisdom of Allah story. Until now we taught you some of the wisdom of Allah. Any Muslim want to explain to us what is the wisdom behind all of this is mad story? What is the wisdom there? Who is the wise person, the prophet who said it, or Allah who did it? Anyone? Anyhow? No, I just blocked him. Forget about him. Anyone? Okay, any two? Forget about anyone. Look like anyone. Look like uh, anyone is offending. I'm not going to say anyone no more. Any two? Hmm? Who is going to explain to us this wisdom? Actually, I'm not going to finish the whole story today because this will need like 24 years from now to finish it. This is a very long story. And we're talking about the kingdom of Suleiman. Are you kidding me? A lot of things happen. This guy, Suleiman, he was like very busy. But you know the most exciting story <clears throat> uh, maybe I should not mention that how many of you is adult here uh, I know all of you will say we are adult even the one who is six years old I just uh, don't give me the answer I get, I get. I, it's, it's okay I understand all of you are adult yeah you think you can fool me right no you cannot <clears throat> uh, there's a hadith I will try to share something which is acceptable something not very <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> You know, all right, let us see. Mm. Let us find something. Mm. <laughs> 
Oh, I just remember something here. Uh, you know, uh, Muhammad and Suleiman, uh, the stories of Suleiman or Solomon, uh, they are too much inspired of stories. Uh, both that uh, like Muhammad is inspired by Suleiman's story. Like uh, once Muhammad, he, uh, uh, you know, most of his fictions is inspired by the fairy tales of the Jews. Let us see. Hold on. I'm trying to find this one. <clears throat> All of them, they are dirty. I'm trying to find something. Uh... Man, all of you, all of them is not for for your age. All of you, because all of you are young. Um, hmm. Let us try something else. Anyway, we continue until I find the the one I'm looking for. And the one I'm looking for is not like very har uh, very harsh. Uh, hi, hi, CP. Hmm. Hi, hi. Okay. Which was made of gold and jewels, would convey and give Suleiman Torah, and Suleiman recited before the people. Then the people used to enter the nob noble nobles. The, nob the nob noblest of the Israelis sat in his right on the golden chairs, and the bird shade them with their wings. Actually, I saw that. I saw Netanyahu, you know, Netanyahu, the corrupt Netanyahu and his wife. They were, I saw a lot of birds on the top of them. And then there was legitimate intern of, uh, or, or if someone was uh, summoned by Suleiman. The throne rotated. Look, this is high tech. Did you see this? Did you did you see this? The first rotated chair. My chair now rotate. By the way, it's an old chair. Yes, but it can go right and left. So the throne of Suleiman rotated, and all the things performed their motion in such a tandem that the person would be baffled. What? That's so good to be true. It's so beautiful. Sometimes I feel I want to cry. <laughs> this is the story touching my heart. Oh, what my? Why my hand is in, on my leg? Uh, I think because uh, I'm an Arab. Always I say I say my heart. I touch my leg. I'm not sure why. I think I'm confused about where is my heart after I heard this story. I know. I, I will. I will check with the doctor. Doctor Hassan. Doctor Hassan is going to debate me tomorrow. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> and then that they could say anything but the truth. So see, nobody, nobody by doing this move, he rotate the chair. Nobody can say a lie. Like you bring a guy. Did you kill this guy? He says yes. I killed him because he cannot lie. That's it. He rotate the chair. Do you see it? He just rotated the chair. Nobody can lie. Okay, I'm going to rotate the chair. I'm going to ask you a question. Who of you hate me? Let us see the answer. You see, my chair is rotated now. How many of you hate me? My chair is rotated. You cannot lie. I'm waiting. You cannot lie. I rotated my chair. Now, don't even try. What do you mean, none? Cool, you exactly, you hate me very much. This is why you call yourself cool. Because you want to burn me and make me a uh, barbecue by the charcoal. What do you mean, none? I rotated my chair. Are you trying to prove that my chair is not working? 
This is made in China, brother. <clears throat> Facebook. I told you I blocked him already. I don't I'm not going to call him again. Uh, I blocked that guy. He lost his chance. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to continue because the story is long. Maybe we can continue tomorrow, you know. But who in here believe in this? I mean, isn't it this is obvious that this is a story is not even convincing for a rabbit? It does not convince even a rabbit. A rabbit, he will be more convinced if you give him some carrot. But not this story. How people in the in the age of the computer, in the time of uh, schools and universities, they believe in this. You see, this is not about doing a miracle. I, you know, I believe that God can do a miracle, but this is just stupid. I mean, what this is? The guy, he moved his chair, he rotated his chair, and because of that, nobody can lie. And later we will see the story of his ring. So the man, he controlled his kingdom by wearing a magical ring. How we can believe in anything of this? And this is all is mentioned in the Quran. And the interpretation gives us just more details, which is approved by the Muslims. How a human being can be silly? What happened? Since I started my uh, uh, program today, I was trying to convince uh, this animal, and I feel he's not even listening. I told him this is a true story. Trust me, for sure. It's authentic, brother. It's mentioned in the Quran. He's still moving his mouth, eating carrot. He don't care. And he don't want to convert to Islam. And by the way, if you think I'm joking, you will find one million videos made by Muslims about uh, animals react to the Quran. The animals, according to them, they convert to Islam. If you don't believe me, you can search. Hmm? By the way, I saw this rabbit before. Where I saw him, where I saw him, where I saw him. Mm. I think the first two letters of his name is Abbas. Any Muslims? Who is here want to call me and convince me? <clears throat> what happened to Khuzayma? Why you give him time out? Khuzayma is using bad language. Come on, Khuzayma, don't use bad language, please. If you like, you can call me Khuzayma. Call me, Khuzayma. I will be happy to hear you. And we will speak and nice and we will not, you know, just you don't use bad language. I will be happy to listen to you, my friend. I like rabbit, by the way. By the way, first time ever in my life, I hear a rabbit screaming. Anyone heard rabbit screaming? I thought rabbit don't have voice, don't have sound. Because I never heard a, a rabbit making noise. But once, a small baby rabbit, I was in my yard, in the back of my yard. And this rabbit, he's running toward me. It looked like he did not notice me. And suddenly he is just in front of my foot. So I grabbed him. 
and the second I grab him, he starts screaming on honest to God. His voice is a voice of a girl. The way he screamed, it's like a girl. I never heard a rabbit before. So I left him right away. Otherwise, somebody will call the police. They say, this guy, he captured a woman in his house. Trying to do something to her. I never heard a rabbit before. You know what will be a miracle if the Quran says, and rabbit, they scream when they see CP. Like, what? How the Quran knew that? Do you think I made the rabbit talk? It was a miracle? What do you think, guys? Because I grabbed him between my hands. Hmm. Thank you, Valentino. Thank you. Thank God, Valentino. I don't have your name. If I have your name, man, I will be in trouble with, with a name like this, Valentino. Oh, boy. But thank you, my friend, Valentino. Uh, <clears throat> good word, my friend, the Christian from uh, a Croatian Christian. All Jesus believers around the world stay united, Orthodox, Catholic, Protestant, and all of you. We are one. Don't let us separate. That's a good wise word. I agree. So, do we have any uh, any Muslim want to call us? By the way, the video which I made yesterday already we posted a link for it in my Patreon, and I think if you search for the same title, you will find many videos posted in the in YouTube already. So, search for the title. I think the title was what. How Muhammad became a prophet, something like that, right? You will find the video all over. Who want to call us? Let me change this rabbit thing. I mean, this guy is getting me dizzy. I don't know, somehow I feel like he's looking at me. Anyone? Nobody, no one, nothing. That's not fair. I thought I will find a lot of believers trying to prove me wrong. Hmm. Why, why, you know, they have so much interest in, in hating the cross. What's what the problem with this cross for them? They believe in those stories. And yet, they deny that the Messiah, he died, died in the cross. But yet the Quran confirmed that the Messiah, he died in the cross. Over the Quran saying that Allah, he would someone look like the Messiah. So until you prove that this was not the Messiah, let me know. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. No one? Shall we finish for today? I, I don't see many people today. I don't know, like 1,008. Uh, people only. What is everybody? Huh? Did Zach and Naik one day talk about me? I don't know. But uh, once I spoke to Zach and Naik, uh, uh, I don't know if it's him or not, but in his Facebook, and supposedly, if it is him, he asked me to bring 2,000 people with me to Bangladesh to debate him. I think he was in Bangladesh, something like that. I have to take, and I posted on Facebook, 2,000, if you can bring with you 2,000 audience, I'm happy to debate you. Hmm. That's very easy. I can pay for a ticket for 2,000 of you, and we are in Bangladesh. Have fun. Someone T gay, he want to call me. Hmm. Who is holding him from calling me? My Skype is open. There is a proof all over that Jesus. Okay, hold on. You know we will take a break from the wisdom of Allah, 
and we will go to justice uh, just as he said something I think it's important Arabian prophet proof is all over Jesus was saved from a crucifixion even according to the Bible well according to the Bible it says he was uh, crucified and they put him in the tomb and then he resurrected from the tomb in the four Gospels so stop line secondly if we go in the Quran we will find that the Quran witness that the Christians are not telling a lie look like you did not read your Quran the Quran says that there was a crucifixion this is number one chapter 4 verse number 157 there was crucifixion so you cannot deny the crucifixion secondly they killed somebody be carefully they killed him not nor crucified him but it was resemblance of Isa Jesus was put over another man do you see it so the Quran confirmed the crucifixion of someone who Allah who made him look like Jesus okay so look at this the Quran saying the one who was in the cross he looked perfectly like Jesus Allah clone someone look like Jesus let me put the screen for you do you see it they killed him not nor crucified him but the resemblance of Isa was put over another man and they killed that man so the Quran confirmed the crucifixion of the one according to the Quran who look exactly like Jesus so who is the fool here <laughs> so why you are lying saying it's a proven not to be true when the Quran admitting that yes it was a true there was a crucifixion and the one who was in the cross look exactly like Jesus now prove to me that was not this is not Jesus imagine guys the Quran this this silly book witnessing that yes there was a cross yes there was a killing yes there was the person was there he looked exactly like Jesus but this is not Jesus who is the stupid here How you are saying the Quran and the proving that Jesus wasn't crucified when the Quran says yes because what the Quran saying that this is a person look exact like Jesus so imagine uh, someone he was a crucified even his mother was there his disciple was there and nobody was able to recognize that this is not him and even the soldiers even the Jews or everybody they believe that this is Jesus why because Allah he made a perfect clone what is the proof that this was a clone I'm waiting for you to prove it to us huh the Quran confirmed first let us count how many things this verse confirmed to us who can help me who can help me to count how many things the Quran here in this verse confirmed to us? He gave us indication. My friend, what indication? First of all, you have to prove. You see, you don't come 600 years after a person who was a crucified and say it was not him. That is silly. You have to give a proof. Do you have a proof? What indication? So you are going, you are following indication. Let us see here. We have a Muslim. His name is Osama. <coughs> Osama is not answering. Hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Osama, you are live on air. What do you like to say? Hello. Yes, Mr. Osama, you are live on air. What do you like to say, my friend? Yes. Uh, so how are you? So what's your name? My name? I'm, uh, for sure, my name is not Osama. 
I cannot hear you clearly. Okay, what do you want to say to us, Osama? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> what was your name? <laughs> You are call, you are trying to call me and you don't know what's my name. <laughs> so guys, let's listen to this. The Quran confirmed that someone exactly looked like Jesus, crucified as Jesus, but this is not Jesus. What is the proof that this is not Jesus? You just confirmed to us that the one who was in the cross looked exactly like Jesus. So the Christian, when they say we saw Jesus in the cross, nobody's lying. And actually, this verse confirmed that Allah is a liar because he plays someone look like Jesus. Why you do that? Why you lie to us? If the Christians are deceived, thought that this is Jesus, it's because of Allah lie. Which means even if this is true, that the one who was on the cross was not Jesus, that means Allah is the deceiver who made them believe in such a thing. So look what happened in this verse. Crucifixion, it was real. This is what the Quran is confirming. Let us take it one by one. I'm typing the, le the letters in Arabic. Hold on. Number one, there is a crucified, a person who was a crucified. Number two, he resembled Jesus. He what? He resembled Jesus. Look exactly like Jesus. That's mean. What the one they saw in the cross, exactly like Jesus. Wonderful. Number three. He was killed. Number three. He was killed and they killed that man. <clears throat> Number four, but surely they killed him not. <laughs> Hold on. You just said that the crucifixion happened. The one who was in the cross, he looked exactly like Jesus, and he was killed. And then you say for sure they killed him not? Do you see how silly this argument is? The one who came with this story, he have a lack of intellect and intelligence. Because now the Christians, going by this story, the Christians who were there, they witnessed someone look exactly like Jesus, was in the cross, he was crucified, and get killed. Then they went and they wrote in their book, we saw Jesus crucified in the day of etc., in the hour of etc. Based on this, it is Allah who made this story happen. And it's Allah who deceived the Christians, made them believe that the one was in the cross is Jesus. And then Allah, he sent 600 years after somebody saying, it is not Jesus. Why Allah waited for 600 years? Why he did not say to Muhammad uh, six months after, say, hey guys, this is not Jesus. Call Muhammad hijab if you have a courage. My friend, I have many challenges for him. And the coward, he agreed to debate me. And the second day after a few hours, he, he said, no, I'm not going to debate him. Go and see it. I have tons of video challenge him. Hello. Yes, uh, Muhammad, uh, Osama. Yes, hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Okay, I'm also fine. Okay. Good. What do you want to say to us, Osama? So, so, uh, so I want to ask, hmm. <laughs> so about the, the religion of like Jesus, uh, of Jesus religion, like Christian religion. We don't have so religion. religion. Christianity is not so, a religion. Christianity is not a religion. So can you, so can you explain hmm. like the Christian about, about the Christian history? Because I, I want to know about the Christian history. You are a Muslim, right? Yes, I am Muslim. Okay. So do you believe yes. that Jesus is uh, yes. is a prophet? 
Okay. Do you believe he's a prophet? Uh, yes, I believe. Why, why you believe he's a prophet? Because, but the I I um, I heard like that, mm. like the, the Christians the trust like that that Jesus is the son of God. Mm. Okay, who is the father of Jesus? So like. Who is the father of Jesus? Who is not the father is the uh, Allah the God is the not the father of Jesus. Okay, I'm God asking you who is the father because, of Jesus? Forget because, about listen, now. Forget listen, about Allah. Who listen, is the, who is the listen. father? Uh, Osama. Who is the father of Jesus? Can you give me his name? He 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 don't have uh, he don't have the father. Okay, who is, is the one? With, okay, he, who is the one? He is burned. All right, let me ask you, uh, Os Osama, the one who made yes. my mother, the one the man mm -hmm. who made my mother have me. Is my father the same as you right yes okay who is the one who made Mary have Jesus about uh, so I'm asking that the Jesus because the Muslim believe like my that friend, this is another question I'm uh, asking so a very simple question don't don't go around it so who is the one who made, no 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 the answer is very simple the one who made me a child of my mother is the man who bad connection Jibril is uh, involved now. He don't want this guy to leave Islam. <laughs> uh, it says bad connection. Let me hang up on him and call him again. You see, this is a question no Muslim can answer. Who is the one who made Jesus the son of Mary? The one who made me the son of my mother is my father. Who is the one who made Jesus the son of Mary? Any Muslim can answer? Anyone can answer? Do you see the silence? Let us call this uh, poor Muslim again. His internet still. <laughs> yes. Yes, Hello. Osama. So, who is the one? The one who made me the son of my mother is my father. The one who married my mother. Okay. Who is the one who okay. made Jesus the son of Mary? Because the Muslim like believe like that. So God. Don't have a son. This is like not the question. Like oh, Osama, you are avoiding the question, my friend. Let us, let us speak smart. Who is the one? The question is, who is the one who made Jesus the son of Mary? I have questions. So you don't first, ask, you will not answer. My you, answer so you will not answer. So you will not answer. I, who is the one? I, okay, I, let me, let me make it simple for you. Is it Allah, the one who made Jesus the son of Mary? Yes. Okay, so who is the father of Jesus? Because the Jesus don't have father. Okay, no, but you he, just said, he, but you just he, said to me, he is born, you just said to me, no, 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 he you just said, father, but like you just, like that. you just said to me, the one who made him the son of Mary is Allah. The one who made me the son yes. of my mother is my father. The one who made you the son of your mother is your father. The one who made Jesus the son of Mary is who? You said Allah. So who is the father of Jesus according to Islam? But okay. This is because you are you are Christians. This is your belief. No, no, no. But you need to explain to me. You need to explain to me how and why Jesus he don't have a father. Can you tell me why Jesus don't have a father? Because Jesus I don't have a father because so this is God tell uh, I can I can do anything. God said I can do anything. No, your God can cannot burn. do anything. Let I me show you. No, 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 no. You see the Quran. The Quran explain clearly that your God Allah cannot do anything. Ooh. He hang up again. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. When the Muslims they say Allah can't do anything, that is a joke. That is a big joke, actually. It's an insult to the intelligence of anyone who knows Islam. The Quran says, How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? How Allah can have a son and yet he don't have a girlfriend
What does that mean? That's mean Allah cannot do everything. He need a girlfriend in order to have a son. Chapter 6, verse 101. So, Mary delivering Jesus, it cannot be something done by Allah. Because Allah is the God who he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend and the Quran in front of you. Who is the one saying here, how can he have a children's? Allah. How can he have a children's? When we say how can, we are questioning what? We are questioning the ability of a person. And who is the one questioning the ability of that person? Allah himself. Saying that he cannot. Using the logic of a human being. Because yes, I am a man. I cannot have a son unless I have a woman. Allah is the same as any man. He is not almighty. He is not capable. While the God of Mary... He can make a Mary, Mary have a son without having a boyfriend. Do you see the contradiction here? If it's impossible for anyone to have a child without having a spouse, well, that should go to Mary too, because it's impossible for Mary to have a son without having a husband. Wonderful. Allah saying, that Mary she have a son, but she she is a virgin. This is the Quran statement. But Allah contradict himself in this verse, saying, and another verse, not only this one, saying, How he can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? That's mean Allah cannot be, and he is not capable of doing such a miracle. Because there's a condition, and the condition is about ability, not about. It did not happen. Look, this is the Muslim translation, not my translation, saying, how can? Right? Yes, hello. Yes, Osama. Uh, yeah, so I'm sharing my screen so you can uh, see. So your answer no. is that I search on there. Hmm. So your answer is here. Okay. What's the what? I don't understand. I'm asking you now, can Allah have a son without having I'm, a wife? I'm saying I'm I'm sharing my screen so you can see the all. No, don't share your screen. That will make your the internet dead. And I do not need to share your screen. Why do I need to share your screen? What for? No, so now my, now my internet is good. So you can see the all. Okay. And now what I would do? So can you hear my screen voice? No. And why you are playing for me this video? What is that? Just go. He shares his screen and he's trying to play a video and there is no sound. And we cannot play a video of somebody else because they will claim copyright. Don't be stupid. If you want to answer me, give me the answer. You heard something in a video, give it to me. You say it to me. <clears throat> Anyone? Allah cannot have a son. Unless he had a girlfriend and the one who's saying how can he is Allah and by the way how Allah he speak about himself he's saying he he is the originator so who's talking <laughs> and how can he well I okay how can he uh, if I go by the by the one who made this logic Yes, hello. Yes, so so. So, uh, so do you so have an I answer? Have just, I have sent you a link. So can you please don't send me link? Don't do those stupid things. Tell me the answer. You know, didn't you watch the video there? Tell me what the what the video is saying. Just go. Let me block you. I have no time for kids. Send me link. How Allah can be the one who gave Mary a child? He can be the same Allah. Who is saying how can he have a children's when he don't have a girlfriend 
So Allah, he made it clear that he is limited in the ability because the question about how can he is a question in the ability, not the possibility. How can I? It's like saying to me, how I can be in two places in the same time when I'm just a man like everybody? How I can, can I be uh, able to go to the moon, but I need a spaceship? How I can do it without spaceship? How I can go from this city to that city in a speed of light without having a speed of light uh, vehicle? How can I? How can he? So the one is a question in the ability cannot be God. Because God is called Almighty, and Almighty mean He can. God do not need to have a wife. And here, by the way, this is showing us that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. Because the Christian do not believe that God have a son because he had a wife. What does this have to do with this? The second you say, how can he have a children? And he don't, and by the way, the Quran does not say even wife. The Quran says girlfriend, sahiba. Sahiba is not a wife. Sahiba is a girlfriend. Look at the language, sahiba. Do you see it? So they cannot claim that God is the God of all the, the God we call Almighty because the God which is the God of Islam he himself he questioned his ability there are things he cannot do and he cannot be and the proof in front of you Any Muslim have an answer? And by the way, in different place in the Quran, Allah He says, if you want to talk, if you want to take a girlfriend, He will take it from ourself. Take it from who? From ourself. How Allah He says such a thing. Chapter 21, verse number 17. My friend, how many times I say, don't call me if you are a Christian? Why people don't listen? Had we intend, in, in, intended to make a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, we would surely, surely take it from us. Guys, do you see? This is the Muslim translation. This is the Muslim translation. If Allah want to take a wife or a son, He will take it from us. Who is us? If Allah is one. Do you understand me? Here they cannot say the word us, mean Allah saying majestic, you know, they say Muslims, we ask them why Allah, he keeps saying he, we, they say, oh, he speak as a king, like majestic, which is very silly because Allah is copying the language of a human being, trying to glorify himself by saying we, this is stupid, but yet he's one. But here you see, he's talking about taking a partner and that partner is can be for sex so he can have a child. So ask, it cannot be unless he is going to have sex with himself. How you can have a partner as a wife and that is from us, us who? If Allah is one of his kind, you cannot marry a dog to a donkey. This relationship, when we say a wife, it have to happen from two from the same kind. 
otherwise they cannot produce anything like we can have a horse with a donkey but we cannot have a goat with the donkey so when Allah he says if we want to take a how a wife or a son we will take it from us who is the Muslim when I explain to us who is us which Muhammad saying that Allah he will marry from which dating website Allah is going to assign to which have his kind us any Muslim I thought Allah is one but as you see Allah is us he have us you see when I say from us I'm talking about me and others from my kind the second I say us I cannot say us and talking about me and a bunch of cats behind me correct the word us is to describe myself as one of many and they are from my kind and here the Muslim cannot say this is a majestic statement he is saying us because he is talking about taking a partner and this partner is a female any Muslim so do you see how silly this book is the problem of Muhammad that he is a person he cannot stop talking and the more he talk the more he do poo-poo and I'm very grateful that Muhammad he keep talking I'm very happy actually Muhammad he never stopped talking because you see the, the the best way to know a fool if he talk otherwise all of us we look the same you can dress a crazy guy give him a suit and a tie and give him a, a, a Samsonite in his hand you would think maybe he's like this guy is a businessman he's a lawyer maybe maybe he's prof, prof, professor but the second he opened his mouth he will know who is he as long your mouth is shut nobody knows who you are and Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. Who is us who Allah is going to marry from? Any Muslim can tell us. And the Muslim, they will say to you, oh, Allah is saying it is uh, if, if, it doesn't matter if, if or not, if is possible. That is, is us here is real or fake? If it's fake, it's mean the whole story is stupid. If I will marry, I will marry from us, but there's no us. That means lying. What is this? So actually, this verse proved that Muslims don't believe in one God. Maybe he's the leader of his tribe, and there's many of them, there's many Allah. And actually that explain why the Quran even says and we explain to you the story where Muhammad he copy a guy his name his name is Abdullah ibn Sarah so he says that Allah is the best of the creators Allah is the best of the creators okay if Allah is the only creator how Allah can be the best of the creators And how Allah he said to Allah so blessed be Allah who is the ones talking is that a prophet or Allah talking no Allah talking so Allah he says oh so blessed be Allah Allah saying to Allah so blessed be Allah the best of the creators Allah is a blessing Allah describing Allah that he is the best of the creator is if we look at here 
either the word the creator is is false or is true if it is false that means Allah is false because when you say I am the best in my in my classroom and you are the only one there that's mean you are a stupid liar you are literally a liar because how you say you are the best guys okay, does it say here the best does it say the best okay when I say I am the best is that assuming that there is only me or there is many The second say you say the best it's mean I'm comparing myself to others that's wonderful so I am the best the best of who the creators how many creators there is <laughs> again Muhammad he cannot keep his mouth shut and actually this is a story here we showed you in the Islamic interpretation not on our books Muslim themselves they say that when Muhammad was reciting this chapter here or creating it Claiming that Allah gave it to him. When Muhammad he recited all this part and he arrived at this part, saying, and then he brought forth as another creation, and he stopped. The guy who was writing for him, his name is Abdullah ibn Sarh. He said, he said, not Muhammad. So blessed be Allah to Allah, the best of the creators. Muhammad he said to him, okay, write it there. The guy he said, write what? He said, right as you say it, so blessed be Allah, the best of the creator. But the guy, he said to him, but I am the one who said that. He said, it came to me the same way as it came to you. <laughs> Muhammad, he copied what the guy, he said, and he liked it. And this is written in their own interpretation. And not only that, the guy, after he heard this, he decided to leave Islam. And he went at the end and he hid in the house of his brother Uthman ibn Affan the Caliphate. He is the brother of Uthman ibn Affan. He said, well, if Muhammad received Quran, then I receive Quran too. Because he's copying him. And look, it makes sense that this guy is saying that. Because this guy is a simple guy saying, okay, so blessed be Allah. There's no way Allah is saying, so blessed be Allah. And he is the best of the creators. This guy is still here thinking there's many creators, but Allah is the best. How Muhammad adopted? Because he is a fraud. He heard the guy saying it. He took it. You know, he put it in his Quran. Can you believe in one creator and you believe in this verse at the same time? The Muslim to explain this, they try saying to you, oh, uh, you know, there's be a human being to create a car. Car? Car is an invention, not a creation. The Quran gave definition of creation. What is a creation in the Quran? If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. Chapter 22, verse number 73. Allah saying to them, Are you worshipping someone beside Allah who cannot create a fly? That is the creation. To be a creator is to create a fly, not to create a statues. That is the creator in your religion. So what Allah he said supposedly if those can create a fly worship them okay hold on isn't it Jesus he created from the mud the bird so why are you blaming us for worshiping Jesus if the condition of worshiping somebody is that this person should create a living life A living life well this is what Jesus he said he did he created a living bird and he breathed into it the Muslim they will say to you it became a bird by the leaf of Allah no the fact it is 
I breathe into it. I. I heal the blind. I heal the leopard. I bring the dead to the life. And then it says by Allah will this is this is your claim I can say now I am the one who gave by my leaf I gave my I gave Jesus the ability to bring people to, from death it's just a claim it confirmed that Jesus he can do miracles nobody can do but it's not confirmed that this is by the Allah leave and the proof it's impossible that this is by Allah leave Allah he could not do anything to Muhammad Muhammad himself he died by poison and Allah could not save him while Jesus was bringing people from death, healing the blind and the leper, creating from the mother bird, Muhammad, he could not do anything. In the top of that, he died by poison. And as you see, the Quran gave us exactly what is called the creation. Creation is to create a fly and a buff. Can he create a fly? This is why Muhammad he says that in the judgment day Allah will bring those who draw pictures of living things, living beings, and Allah will ask them to blow in them. Say to them, okay, make it alive. That is a creation. So when they try to defend the Quran and give you their false answers. We laugh because this is not what it says. Do you see the hadith? It narrated that the Prophet said that Allah will bring those who they make pictures of other creatures and He will say to them, Give them a soul to those pictures, breathe into them. Yeah, Muslims who do painting, they will go to hell, absolutely. This is why uh, painting pictures in Islam, Islam destroy art. This is why in the Middle East, there's no arts. The only art for them is allowed is art of uh, writing words or to make like, uh, you know, shapes, shapes, but not any, anything alive. You cannot make a picture of anything alive. So how Muslims take pictures then by selfie and... Uh, I heard the message of Allah saying every uh, painter will go to hell and every uh, uh, portrait uh, has he has made there will be appointed one who will uh, chase this like he will he will he will torture him in the hell and Abbas he will say to him the one who draw uh, like those are the one who draw a tree or uh, anything you know you see it here it says, the message of Allah says, whoever make an image will be punished until he commanded uh, to breathe a soul into it. This is the creation. You see it? So when the Muslim, they say this is about the creation of a car. Car is not a creation. Car is an invention. Because you are not, not, not the creator. You used what God, he gave you. You did not give a life. You see, giving life it does not exist in the dust. The dust does not have life. So let us say I, I brought a dust and the dust is not made by me, but I was able to give life. That life is not in the dust and it cannot be created unless by a divine. So all the Muslims defense collapse in the front of what we are saying anyway I think I might go live on air later which will be a morning in the time of Indonesia so people in Indonesia they can join us maybe I'm not sure I will try and those who they are in USA they can join us too all right I'm not sure if I can do that but mostly maybe I'm thinking about doing that who like to join us later Maybe like um, maybe 10 p.m. But I'm not for sure. Don't take so you see my promise is the same promise of Muhammad. Like Muhammad, the promise your versions. This is exactly what I'm promising you. 
okay actually my promise is more 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 uh, uh, truthful <laughs> it's possible it's possible to do it but Muhammad uh, promise is not possible at all <laughs> all right you scare debate no I'm not scared debate you want to call me mr. one God call me right now what scare debate you see this Abdul he just heard me saying I'm going to leave he says he's scared to debate call me I'm here for the last three hours and now you're saying to me you are scared to debate I keep saying who wanna call me who wanna call me who wanna call me and then you say to me are you scared to debate I'm very scared brother you know the only reason by the way you don't hear me uh, my teeth is touching each other I'm making like noise because I don't have teeth brother I took them off I'm like 90 uh, 190 years old call me now here we go I'm not leaving here we go I promise you to stay with you for the coming 10 hours if you call me to debate me you want to do that I'm very excited I'm very excited finally I got somebody to debate me la, 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 la. call me call me baby hello hello give me your ID in Skype I will call you don't call me hello what happened to this guy he took a taxi taxi is haram don't take a taxi don't you know that taxi is haram we have to follow the steps of the prophet the prophet he always take a donkey hello dick hello what dick don't talk about dick guys anyone knows what uh, what the rooster can do in islam anyone knows somebody mentioned the rooster Muhammad he discovered something which nobody discovered that if you hear the bearing of the donkey that's mean he saw a shaitan if you hear the rooster that's mean he saw an angel and this is the hadith in the front of you and that is amazing discovery by the way I was thinking I, I, I have security cameras in for my house uh, so I can monitor you know when I am away far away from the house uh, but uh, I was thinking to get two donkeys four donkeys and four roosters I will put one in every corner if a shaitan he come by the donkey he will do his business uh, uh, and if he saw an angel if an angel can buy uh, uh, the rooster will do kukuruku this is the explanation of the kukuruku now we knew why there is a kukuruku in the morning because Jibreel is coming by do you see the wisdom brother do you see the high-tech technology of Allah but here we have a problem. Anyone knows what the problem? Faisal, he's saying, Lakum dina kum waliyadin mansukha. It's abrogated. Faisal. Faisal, he says, for you, your religion, and to mine is my religion. And by the way, why you are quoting for me one of the most stupid verses in the Quran? Let me show you how this is, how, how silly this verse. This is really God talking. How that can be? Let us uh, make it uh, less uh, words. Hmm. Few words. This is the chapter. Say to those who reject the faith. By the way, it doesn't say that. It says kafirun. Let me let me make the verse for you. So say to those who uh, uh, are kuffar, I worship not what you worship. And you will not worship I wor what I worship. And you will not worship which I worship because I don't worship what you worship. And you know you will worship what I worship. To you, you have your religion, I have mine. Okay, let me make it simple for you. 
I eat not what you eat and you will not eat what I eat because I do I eat not what you eat and you will never eat what I eat and you will never do eat what I eat because I eat not what you eat for I have my hummus and you have yours this is God this is God is talking he's repeating himself we got it you will not and by the way this is a proven Muhammad to be false prophet because those he said to them you will never worship what I worship all of them they became Muslims later Those who he said to them, I worship not what you worship. First of all, he worshiped the idols. Remember the satanic verses he did. Secondly, he says, no, you will worship what I worship. But later they converted to Islam. So this was a false prophecy. I eat not what you eat and you will not eat what I eat. So I will never eat what you eat and you will have not eat my eat because I will not eat what you eat and you will never do eat what I eat for. I have my food, you have your mind. Which is that? That's deep, man. That's so deep. That's so good. I'm getting dizzy now. Unbelievable. What is this? Is this is wisdom? This is a guy. He's trying to make Arabic music. He, you know, he, he cannot keep his mouth shut. The more he talks, the more he do poo poo. And how he said to them, you will never worship what I worship. And later they worship what he worship. And actually in the moment when he's saying that to them, they worship Allah already. Because when the Muslim, they say the kuffar, they are talking about people who worship Allah already. You see the kuffar of Quraysh, they worship Allah. They are not people who don't worship Allah. But they took beside Allah other gods. Oh boy, any Muslim want to call me? You know what? I think there's a problem in YouTube. There's no way I have only 1,000 whatever people watching. I think there's a problem in YouTube. Now, uh, this video will disappear after I finish, and we will post an updated link for it so you guys can download it. All right, always subscribe to those who re download and post my videos. So you always can follow up with the video if you want to have it again. All right. That's why you don't see really videos on my channel. Most of them, they are gone. And the reason for that is Jibril. Jibril come to me and he squeezed me three times. And I told Jibril, because you squeezed me three times and I squeezed you three times. He said, okay, I squeezed you three times and you squeezed me three times. And what you will do now? I said, let us establish a party. It's called the squeezing party. He said, okay, that's a good idea. What we will call it? I, will, I said, we will call it Mohammedan party. Everybody squeeze everybody three times. And this is how we can go to heaven. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He became a prophet by being squeezed three times. Welcome to Islam. And I, you know what? I will shave my 100 foot beard. It's growing, by the way. It was 20 foot. If a Muslim can tell me what is the purpose of a squeezing Muhammad three time? Anyone can tell me? Huh? What is the purpose? Okay, the angel, he squeezed Muhammad three times. This is what the story is saying. Why the angel squeezed Muhammad three times? Because before the squeezing, nothing changed from after the squeezing. Muhammad is still, he don't understand. So why he squeezed him? I think the angel Jibreel, he was mixed up between the ketchup ball and Muhammad. Anyway, we are done for today. Don't forget to subscribe. And later, save this, uh, this uh, title, The Wisdom of Allah is Amazing, True or False, and search for it after like two or three hours from now. You will find another link posted by somebody, uh, website, so you can download and you can have it. And if you like to learn more, you can read my books. You can find them in Amazon. And again, uh, we pray that the Muslims will understand that this is really a false cult. It's not really even a religion.
Islam is a collection of fairy tale stories, stupid stories, flying carpet, ring or ceremony. And maybe if I go today or tomorrow back on air, uh, we will continue speaking about the ring of cinnamon. Beautiful story. You will love it, brother. Bring your kids, brother. Uh, bring your kids so they can see how truthful it is that there is somebody have a ring. His name is the Lord of the ring. At that time, his name is Solomon. All right. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. Thank you.